What's up everybody, my name is Bobby and today I'm gonna to be talking to you about one of the cool new features added to the iPhone 13 camera lineup and that's gonna be macro photography. Now, just so you know, macro photography is only available on the Pro lineup. So that's gonna be the iPhone 13 Pro and then the iPhone 13 Pro Max. And for those of you who don't even know what macro photography is, it's essentially being able to use your camera to get extremely close up to the subject that you're trying to take a photo of. And almost kind of like it has like its own microscope or something like that. You get to see an absurd amount of detail. So you get, you know, veins of a leaf or you're getting like grains of sand it just lets you get super super close up to whatever it is you're trying to take a photo of and still have it be in focus so previously this feature wasn't on any iphone and it's still not on the kind of base model iphones uh, but it's something that you know people have found a way to achieve by either getting like one of those third party lenses that screws onto the phone which i've done in the past and tried out um, or just trying to get as close to the actual subject as possible and take the photo. It's always been something people have wanted and for the first time we finally have it natively. So, how do you do it? As for the current state of how you're gonna go ahead and trigger that macro photography, is literally all you have to do is just move your phone super close to the subject of whatever it is you're trying to take the photo. So macro will use the ultra wide angle lens and it'll automatically switch to it when it senses it's gotten super close to something and it should you know, keep it in focus all the way up to almost like putting your camera on the actual item itself. Now, I've seen mixed feelings about this automatic switching. Some people think it's cool just because it kind of saves you the hassle of having to like, you know, swipe down a menu or, you know, trigger a certain mode or something like that since the iPhone camera app is definitely getting a little cluttered these days with all the different modes they're adding year after year. But on the flip side, sometimes people get super annoyed with it and the fact that it switches automatically. I, for one, almost immediately right off the bat, the, one of the first photos I took with my new phone was actually taking photos of my old phone to try to sell it on, you know, offer up. And so I noticed it immediately when I was trying to get a shot of my old phone and at a certain distance with the light in a certain way to kind of show like this little hairline scratch that was on the screen. and immediately like as i was getting too close to it it was shifting lenses and i just couldn't quite get the photo that i was trying to get and it was actually really annoying so the auto switching i can definitely understand why it's pissing some people off um, ever since that moment i haven't had any issue with it but it is something that apple has said that they're working on so i believe they told marquez brownlee who posted it on twitter that they are planning on releasing a software update to turn off that auto switching because sometimes people want to take a close photo, not quite a macro photo, and they don't need the lens to like switch over. So Apple's heard the complaint and they're definitely putting something in in the near future, supposedly, in software to switch it. But as for the moment, the way that you activate macro is you go ahead and put the camera up to whatever it is you're trying to get a close up photo of. How well does it work? My opinion, super well. I've had one of those third party lenses in the past and I used it for this purpose and honestly, performs as well, if not even better in my opinion. Plus you get the added convenience of not having to lug around an external lens, which honestly nobody likes to do and nobody wants to have to do, especially for the phone. And honestly, it's just really impressive to be able to see something in that much detail. Now this is one of those features that people don't use every day. I mean, it maybe depends on what you do with your phone or with, with what your needs are with the camera, but for the most part, most people don't use this feature every day. But it's one of those things that if you want it, having it at any time at your disposal is really neat. So aside from the little fiasco with trying to take a picture of my phone, I actually had my first experience where I did want to use it and I needed it for a certain project that I was working on and it worked out beautifully. So I was trying to show off the difference in the textures between this year's Apple MagSafe wallet case and last year's Apple MagSafe wallet case. And using the macro photography, I was able to show just the, the subtle differences in the leathers between the two versions of the case. So that's kind of what I'm talking about. It's like if it's just something that you're trying to get a close up photo of and you need it, it's really, really useful. If you don't, you don't have to worry about it because it's just built in and it's not something that'll ever bother you. But yeah, other than that, it's kind of just like a fun little party trick. You can go ahead and take a picture of something and blow your friend's minds. That's really about the gist of it. 
But yeah, macro photography. Highly recommend you check it out if you have the new iPhone. If you are interested in any of my other iPhone related videos, I will have them linked down in the description down below. And make sure you like this video and subscribe to stay tuned for more content. I also have multiple phone case giveaways going on in those other videos. So if you're interested in those, definitely check them out. But yeah, that about does it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.